now to find out what effect that had. Did that cause a reaction? Hmm, I wonder what that did. Well, that was efficient. Does anything seem different now? Hmm, I wonder what that... Now to find out what effect that... Well, that was efficient.
Welcome, Source Hunter. I must admit I'm rather disturbed by your presence here. Not because I fear you, no. Because I must assume that the Goddess has willed us to meet like this. Like intimates, in these holy chambers. Perhaps she wishes for you to see, Source Hunter. Perhaps she wishes for you to understand our way. Perhaps, perhaps, she has willed it time for our factions to walk side by side toward a new beginning. This history of Source versus Hunter is as long as it is gruesome. Aren't you tired of fighting? So what if it is dark? What is so terrible about darkness? I ask you why a natural and neutral aspect of the cosmos, of our lives, can be banished? It is easy to view death, or sacrifice, as we practice it, as inherently negative. But the easy perspective is very infrequently correct. Why regard death, an utterly unavoidable aspect of our very natures, with fear and panic? Only by abandoning the fear of death do we truly live. You say Source is dark. We say that to use it is to embrace the so-called darkness within each and every mortal. How can we deem an aspect of our very selves to be dark? Who decided that to die was a weakness, a failure, a tragedy? No. To die is to be completed. To kill then, to kill, is to carry this completion forward. Ah, Source Hunter, this is what the Conduit fears you will never understand. For how could you? Your kind are agents of maintenance. You must keep the established order. You must enforce the existing laws. But what if everything you know is a mere shadow of what could be? What if you are regulating a system that is inherently broken? Though I doubt you will grasp this, Source Hunter. We Immaculates have come to believe that the life we live is no true life. And we seek to restore a better, more authentic existence. The original way, Source Hunter. The singular awareness that was once the void. Before we were wrenched apart by existence. Before we were separated into a million warring minds. And the time is nigh. Each sacrifice brings the void closer. Each bloodstone helps the conduit to call it nearer. She and she alone communicates with the goddess. She and she alone can bring the goddess' intention to the ears of the faithful. Whither the goddess turns her eyes, the conduit is there to enact her will. And now do you see, Source Hunter? Do you understand that walking the Immaculate Path is the only way to conclude this experiment called existence. Do you see that to bring true balance, true equilibrium, we must rejoin one another in the void? And do you see why I cannot permit you to intervene in what is coming?
I'm a this of it on how but the other and she and and
stitch this wound? Wait for me!
glory in this death. Oh, the man. I've got my eyes on the prize. Whatever is in here, the Immaculates have gone to dire lengths to conceal it. I don't know whether I'm relieved or disappointed there isn't a legion of undead demon mages waiting for us. What's that gleam? My eyes on the prize.
to the Source Temple in the Phantom Forest. Sounds like a location worth noting. Gods! Leandra's building an army in order to defeat Astarte and unleash the Void! Our friends on the homestead will want to hear this right away. Now that we know exactly what she's doing, we've got the advantage over the so-called conduit. Leandra's devised a method for destroying Death Knights. That sounds more than promising.
jolly. There's something quite astounding you must see. It's the Weaver. Thanks to the Starstone you've collected, she's mended a portion of the tapestry. Look, a new story has been rewoven into time. A new portion of history appears to us for the first time in not even I know how long. Let us look together. Let us see what the Weaver has woven. Long ago, two great generals led mankind in a terrible war. The dreaded Void Dragon threatened all of existence. And man and gods alike joined swords to stop it. The two generals were celebrated as the rulers of all, and even the gods paid them tribute. I greet you, honorable master of the house. I am the shepherd of elements and I control how they may flock towards your most imperial presence. So, if it pleases you, command me and the elemental aspect of your choice shall once more settle among these holy halls. Do you really think he'd let me in on it in advance if he'd been planning an affair with your sister? How can I tell? Maybe you... And that is your final choice? In fact, it isn't. I want to go with another elemental. All right, we'll do it your way. Perhaps you would like to reconsider and choose a new... And that is your fight. In fact, it isn't. I want to go with... All right, we'll... Perhaps you would like... That. Yes, indeed. That is our final choice. Thy will be done. It's so cold in here, it hurts. I think my very words may freeze and fall to the ground. Such as no serpent has ever known. They glow with a brilliant flame, Your Grace. Even he cannot snuff it out. By the hoary beard of Boreas, can it be? You've come. You've come home. It's about time, isn't it? Your quarters have been invaded by all manner of madness. Loyal by the hoary bit of to exp by the hoary beard of Boreas, can it be? You've come, you've come home. It's about time, isn't it? Your quarters have been invaded by all manner of madness.
your home, your rules, naturally. What would you like to know? Does my brilliant frost beguile you? I am ice, of course. A soldier of ice, to be explicit, and this is where I have dwelt across many eons. Here I wait for the day, if ever, I am called to serve the realm again. Could I be more explicit? This place is of your essence. Can't you feel it in your very bones, as I do in every crystal of frost within me? You belong here, and this place belongs to you. I cannot tell you why or how, but I know it to be true. Alongside my opposite, the eternal fire, we were summoned in service of a goal greater than the timeless battle between heat and cold. Yes, together we sought victory against the void. You can thank our great army for all of this, you know. For existence itself. Those were times of great proportions. The forces of nothingness pitted against those of life, and naught but ourselves marching to the beat set by our great leaders could stop the void's encroachment. Off to explore your abode, are you? Very good. I'm sure there's something around here that will jog your memory. What's the word, Source Hunter? I believe the answer to that begins centuries ago, when your order was still cutting down so-called dark magicians by the dozens. Ours was a family of born sorcerers, you see. It was in our blood to interact with Source. But our parents were determined to curb the power within us. Still. Their meekness wouldn't save them from the Source Hunters. I am, but there is more to our kind than they teach at your academy. 
Source. We source. But what so? Tell me. Did you know? No. No, that would be going too far and eschewing my own resp- Why? It seems you're more than caught up, aren't you? You've already got the spell and the blood, both of which will need, if the spell is to be believed, to slice through Leandra's army of death knights. Remarkable. That means we've only to find Zandalo now. Long ago, when Source was banished, a league of great men and women promised to protect its secrets. The Keepers of the Source, they called themselves. Our wizard is its last living member. That night in the King Crab Inn, Leandro was after something that only he knew. Find him, and you'll learn where to find her. He lives in Hunter's Edge, a village east of Lukula. When last I saw him, he was in a panic about Leandra's betrayal. It's possible that he'll have flown Hunter's Edge. You may need to investigate to find a hint of his whereabouts. Take this ring, it will mark you as my ally. If you should find Zandalore, he'll know I sent you. How might I serve our mission? Leandra. She desires to be mother of the void, but you have the power to undo her born in blood litter. Though they be baptized in blood, you can cleanse the Starstones still, and use them to thwart their grim queen. How might I serve our mission? What's the word, Source Hunter? I hope your quest fares well, dear Hunter. And well met you are. The theory is this. You are not you. Or rather, you are you, but you is not all there is to you. And that goes for both of you. But I see you're staring at me like a cow stuck in an astronomy lesson, so uh, let me start again. I think that you carry two souls inside of you. One that belongs to the mortal human beings that you are now, and one that belongs to... Certain someones with whom we've both become acquainted. You remember that segment of the tapestry your efforts helped to mend, don't you? The two great generals, how they led the battle against the Void's first attack on Rivalon? It would explain a lot, wouldn't it? Your connection to the Void, your presence here at the end of time. True, the mystery of Starstone remains, but at this rate, we'll have it sorted out in two shakes of Ahu's tail. As luck would have it, a new portal awaits. Perhaps aren't... What have we here? A study? Wonderful. About time. Guardians. Dear guardians. When I see your faces, it is like the barriers of time tumble in upon themselves. But oh, how my heart aches when I think of the duty you adopted. It was more than even the gods had the right to ask of you. You did not want it. But you took it upon yourselves nonetheless, though many wailed and many wept. In a ruptured world, wherein all resolve had crumbled, you renounced life and liberty to stand guard and protect every last morsel of creation. When I despair, I think of your sacrifice. In my darkest hours, I cherish the resolve that was you. Thing to be cherished. Even though apparently we had to give up life and liberty for that to happen. Hail, holy 
light, offspring of heaven, firstborn. About me. The Guardian's first disobedience, and the fruit of that forbidden box, whose depths brought death into this world, and all our woe with loss of source I remember. I come no spy with purpose to explore or to disturb the secrets of your realm, but secrets of my own I bring. The secrets of another world, perhaps not lawful to reveal. To ask or search, I blame thee not. For Rivalon is as the Book of the Gods before thee set, wherein to read his wondrous works and learn his seasons, hours or days or months or years. Whence thou returnest, and whither wentest, I know. Direction hardly signifies. <laughs>